You know what? We are not spinning the block like, like, like Nelly and Ashanti is. Okay. We're not doing that. Okay. I get it. It's cuffing season, but we're not doing that. No, no, no. Lauren, Lauren, boo boo. Let that ninja go. just say this okay let me just say this dr p dr p and and and, and pastor cow i'm gonna say this one time for the nine nine and two thousands okay hey if you know the song you better work out with that. okay okay listen listen all seriousness aside i'm gonna say this for the for 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 those that's in the back of the congregation okay y'all gonna stop trying to piece together these raggedy ass people okay y'all gonna stop this shit pissy peel you because you pissed me off this episode you gonna keep asking lauren this beautiful queen you gonna keep asking her and keep asking this raggedy ass ponytail of a man with his crying in the game ass. Yes, because y'all know damn well he was on two Wong Fu for... <laughs> y'all know good well he was on that movie, two Wong Fu. But anywho, anywho, y'all gonna ask him, does he have romantic feelings for her? Nah, uh-uh, he don't, okay? He looking for a way out. He looking for an exit, okay? As my baby said, he looking for a stop sign, okay? He done. He done. Y'all gonna act like that boy didn't go to his mama and say, mama, what you, mama, this is what she said. What you think I should do? Y'all, y'all, are y'all kidding me? Anywho, I'm sorry. Because I'm, I'm about to go off. I'm about to go off, okay? Welcome to the Pretty Girl J channel, Okay? My name is Carla, okay? I welcome you. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Honey, we growing in one week, y'all. Over a hundred of y'all. I'm like, what? Oh, what? Y'all are not playing with me this season. Come on, winning season. How many of you are in your winning season? I want to clap it up for you. If you're in your winning season and you're doing everything that you love, everything that is inspiring you to be great and you just you just catching blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings hit that like button come on come. even put your blessings down below i want to i want to celebrate you sis bro and whatever it is put your blessings down below I don't care if you may rent this month. Put your blessings down below, okay? Pastor Cal, did we learn nothing last year from Aries and Jasmine? From you doing that shit with Aries and Jasmine, did you learn nothing? But you gonna come do that same shit again with Emily and Brennan and baby. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna talk about Emily and Brennan because they next. Their neck, I get it. It's cuffing season. It's cold as hell where you at. It's cold where I'm at too. I'm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But baby, that ain't it. That that ain't it. Okay. It's buses run every 15 minutes, B. Sometimes 30 on weekends. All I'm saying is don't sweat the technique. That's all I'm saying. Rock him and Eric, don't sweat the technique. That's all I'm saying, okay? Now, let's get into this episode, and we gonna get into it. Here we go. So, we leaving the resort. Lauren is like, we suffering from irreconcilable differences. No, bitch, y'all done. <laughs> done, son. This fool talking about some, um, 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 well, um, um, I just think it's, it's not irreconcilable. I just think we're dealing with various issues. And we're, we're still learning how to deal with them. No, tell the truth, liar. Tell the truth, liar. Ain't ran a comb through your damn hair all in the last few weeks that we watched you. But you sitting up on this damn TV line. You're a liar and you're a ghost. 
Okay, and I'm gonna tell I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all about why I call him the ghost. Yeah, he Casper up in the smug. Yes, and no. Before y'all go there, I am not calling him a derogatory term. I will get to why I call him Casper the Friendly Ghost in one minute. Hold up, got my sis in a in a confessional talking about some. I just wish that. You know, O'Crian, I mean, Orion um, would extend me grace and mercy. Baby, he is extending you as much grace and mercy as your edges at this point, okay? Frizzled and flat and matted out, okay? Get out of here. And now he got to go to mom and them. He gonna have to go to mom and them and explain what you and did. Cause he's a mama's boy. He ain't crap. You know, he got to go to the basement, tell his mama so she can give the... Yeah, she can stay or nah, she can go. Okay, so the couple's move into their apartments. Or so we think. Emily, baby, I need you to stop talking. You running that man away. Baby, it, did y'all see how Brandon looked through the whole episode? He ready to go. He is ready to go. He ready to leave her ass sitting there talking. His face. Everything is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Emily, pretty girl, but she, she talks too much. Baby, give him a few things at a time. She coming up in there talking about what tasks we got to figure out. Who's gonna wash the dishes? Who's gonna clean um the 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 rugs and 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 and, and call Stanley a uh, carpet cleaner to do these the, the this uh this couch because we don't know who who's been sitting on this couch. This is a rental, you know. This is a nice ass rental, but we don't know who's been sitting out on this couch farting it out and all this other crap. So, we have a lot of tasks that we need to divide. That man said the hell with you and your tasks. He's a, He hit her with the, I, I can't wait to go back to my own shit. <laughs> Brennan says, I have spent 24-7 damn near a whole week with this woman. And I can't take the shit no more. I can't take it no more. I got to go back to my own place, okay? I mean, it was cool. See, this is where he caught up because he's like, it was cool when we was drinking. When 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 we was when we was getting drunk on our honeymoon, I I wasn't able to feel shit because I was getting drunk and faded. Okay, I was like Tiger, I'm faded, faded, faded. My ninja, I'm faded, faded. Now that ain't no alcohol in his system and he dry and sober, he like, what the hell I did? If she could just stop talking for five minutes and stop asking me or running me in her mind, I'd be all right. I might make it. Oh, I didn't know that Cameron and... Um, with Cameron and Claire, I didn't know Cameron lived with his ex, his ex boo and her whole family. I said, well, damn, wasn't that Michael from Nashville? Wasn't Michael living with the whole family in the basement with the dog or whatever? I said, damn, ain't nobody got that. Well, rent too high. Rent too high, honey. And the mortgage rates, it ain't crap right now. It's it's a seller's market for real. Because the, the amount of money that y'all paying for rent, I wish I, I wish I would. So yeah, he said I'm. He said I, I'm looking for the worst. I said uh huh. He said I, I, I'm, I'm used to living with a partner. You know, I've done it in the past. I'm used to it. I'm just waiting on you to drop the other ball. She gonna say, don't say that. Oh uh, yeah, it's called being real. It's called being. I don't want to see your representative. He is basically saying that. I want to see. The the woman that's waking up, looking disheveled, um, rolling up out of bed, shit don't match, underwear don't match, uh, stuff don't fit. She ain't gained some weight because she happy. I want to see her. I want to see the real person. I don't want the representative. That's what he's telling you. He good on the representative. And she's sitting up there like, no, don't say that. He was like, I'm just waiting for the bad stuff to come. Because they going to come. I'm just waiting to see, are you good at bills or not? Nah? 
is the cable going to be damn near shut off every month? Because you, you, you can't, you know, pay it? What? Are we going to be able to Netflix and chill? Or are we going to be on some, uh, what a CD and DVD man at around here? What we, what we doing? So, a Ryan Lyon, he wants to do a full reset. What the hell does a full reset mean? Anybody know? He going to tell Lauren, yeah, um, I'm just trying to get, he telling her anything he got to tell her to get out that apartment, to get out of Married at First Sight's rental. I think we need some space to regroup. I need a full reset, okay? I, I Here's my question with this full reset. Orion feels like he needs to take some days to figure out if he wants to continue with the marriage, okay? Um, question, why did you allow yourself? Why did you allow Lauren? Why did y'all bring bags into this, this apartment that y'all didn't plan on staying at? Lauren, what was the point of you bringing your, your luggage in bags to this apartment only for you to walk right back out. So you mean to tell me that Lauren was bamboozled by some Papa John's pizza and a last will and testament? You mean to tell me this fool got you with some old stale ass Papa John pizza, which by the way, by the way, he took it right back with him. He hit you with the deuces. And said, I'm going to take some time to myself, meaning I eat, I'm out of here, and I'm going to take the piece of pizza that I didn't even finish eating, okay? That's how much I care about you, okay? You won't get the last uh, slice around this mug, okay? Brendan almost told Emily asked to get the hell out of his house, didn't he, y'all? <laughs> Brendan was literally, he opened that door, he was like, Yeah, this my this my apartment. You invading my privacy and my space. I don't really care where you live, cause I don't really care nothing about you too much. Um, yeah. So this is the bedroom. Yeah, this is where you make the magic at, and this is all you need is a TV. He didn't even bother cleaning up. Baby, the bad, baby, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all when you know a man don't even care. Let me tell men, and if you're, if you're a man and you're, you're a subscriber, please comment below and, or tell me, yeah, Carla, you're right. When a man don't care, baby, he ain't even making a bed. When I tell you he threw, he threw that comfort. <laughs> He threw that Walmart comforter over that bed. He said, shit, good enough. Good enough. It was wrinkled. It went together. He didn't have nothing tucked. It just looked like he just, it just came fresh out the dryer. He was like, shit, clean. There you go. Who am I trying to impress? Nobody. Just the woman that I married uh, two weeks ago. I ain't trying to impress her. She get what she get. Baby, I said it. <laughs> I said, somebody call call him a maid. Call him Molly the maid. Somebody help. Okay? I could see the dust. I could see the dust on the record player. He didn't want her there. His face was like, I don't want her here. She in my space. I told her to give me some space. And here she come with cameras and shit judging me. Boom, boom. Hey, um, camera. Come closer. Come here, let me tell you something. Don't nobody want them nasty ass syrup sandwiches, okay? Not even those in the projects, all right? Don't serve that shit no more to nobody else, okay? You keep that to yourself, okay? Don't nobody want that molasses looking ass shit. Ask the cow comes to uh, Brennan and Emily's, you know, apartment. And he asking Emily, do you feel invested in the marriage? Baby, she's been married a hot minute. Whatever do you mean? I 
could have told you no. Is is she getting the same energy as Brendan? As get, is getting no. Brendan ain't even matching her energy. Brendan act like he on edibles or high. Brendan is so laid back and so aloof. He don't care nothing about her. It is evident because he said it. He said it. He said, I, I, but, but, um, I just, I, I just, Brendan was like, I just don't feel like there's a, a romantic connection. I said, oh, here we go. Here we, we have another one this season. Here we go. We got, we always got one or two for the season. This our one for the season. He don't feel a romantic connection to Emily. Emily like, uh -uh. Well, what, what come? What come, sweet? Brendan don't want you in his house. The thrill is gone. It's over. Okay. He was excited. It's no longer exciting for him to be married to you. He is seeing little things about you that he is so good on that he feel like uh, Keisha or Karen or I'm sorry, you know what? Uh, Melissa, Amber, okay, uh, Megan, um, uh, Morgan. He, he, he feels like someone else can supply because he's not romantic sexually attracted to you it was hard to hear and he he kept saying look i'm trying to be nice i'm trying to be real chill with you but if you want me to let it out the bag push me too far don't push me too far don't push me too far okay don't push me to the limit don't rick ross my ass because i'm gonna let it go i'm gonna let go and let god okay you're gonna be picking up your pieces okay you're going to be Jasmine Sullivan up in this mug. All right. Don't forget to come and pick up your feelings. Hold up, y'all. Did Pastor Cal say to this man, did you push yourself to be intimate with her? Pastor Cal. Hold up. I, I'm stopping you. I'm stopping you because you're doing the same shit that you did to Aries and Jasmine at, 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 in, the, in the Tennessee, okay? Why? Why should you have to be pushed in anything? Did I, why, why am I pushing myself to touch this man or this woman? Why do I need to push myself? If it's not organic, if it's not natural, if that man ain't trying to slide his hand every chance he get or kiss or hug or touch, what we doing? Then Pascal says, well, well, so tell me, so tell me, because this is how he acts. So tell me, um, Brennan, Brennan, what is it that you like about her? Mm -hmm. Brennan says we got the same food interest I said ain't this a bottom I mean because she likes spaghettios I like spaghettios you know she like raviolis I like the raviolis you know Chef Vardy in the can you know she like ramen noodles I like ramen noodles and you know occasionally she said she like Chick-fil-A and I like Chick-fil-A too the juicy face hello 36 weave lace front wearing heifer she is there to talk to cameron and claire for what i don't know is it me or baby they gonna you you gonna need a lift you gonna need you gonna need some reconstruction on them eyes them eyes look heavy and for those who do not know if you haven't watched the previous seasons baby uh juicy face hello dr pepper okay lace front Bob, long Bob, layered Bob. Her hair is cute this episode, but usually it'd be messy as shit. She don't even live with her husband of uh <clears throat> 20 something years or whatever. She said we good at, we we good apart. He got his house, I got mine, but we still legally married. Okay. So for those who don't know, she ain't promoting per se living together because she don't live with her man. Okay, but she there talking to uh, Cameron and Claire. And um, so far, they look like they all right. But Cameron is waiting on the other shoe to drop. 
and we're going to leave Cameron and Claire where the hell they are this week. Okay? Now, Emily, um, again, is asking, are you sexually attracted to me? Girl, he said no. Girl, he said he ain't there yet. Okay? What is going on with you, Roger Rabbit? What is going on, Jessica? Don't ask him no more. Don't ask him no more. If he is into you, boo, he is not. He's not. I don't want him to be. I, I, I don't. This is not JD by Ryder. I don't want you to be pushed, pulled, or, or dragged into the lot. And he keeps saying, look, I don't want to say anything. I want to spare your feelings. And she's like, well, well if you're not going to be honest and tell me exactly what it is, then I got my answer. Yes, you got your answer. You got your answer, Mr. Weston. God damn it. You got your answer. Damn, Gina. And while this going on, why, why, why did this onion, I always want to cry, don't touch me. Why did onion text Lauren that he wants a divorce? I'm just in with this. I'm gonna just in with this. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened and how we got here. They've been apart. Remember, he wanted space. Okay, him and his Papa John's went out the door. He said he wanted space. Okay, Lauren said, "Cool. I don't really expect shit else from him." But he ghosts her. Let me tell you how. He texts her with the games and the foolishness. Hey, when are you available so we can talk? Because I want to talk to you. She says, okay, you know I'm available this day, this time. Sure, we can talk. I'm open. Why she heard nothing else but the next text was, I, I want a divorce. Say what now? Say huh? Say what? How come? What's going on? You want a divorce? The last text I sent you was when I'm available in my time. How we get here? How he flipped the shit? He flipped the shit out of this situation. Do you hear me? Lauren tells it. Lauren says, I told him when I was available and I heard nothing. I said, oh, so you ghosting your wife? You're not responding back? Okay. He didn't say nothing. She said, is that true? He said, he can't even look at her. Oh, stupid ass. He like, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's true. She said, so, Orion, did you come here with the notion of divorce? Did, was divorce already on the table? Well, well, no. Well, no, well, yes. Well, yes, your ass did, ignorant fool. Yes, you did. He knew what he was coming into that apartment for, and that was to to divorce Lauren. He said it via text. Now he got to stand in front of her and man up and say, I want a divorce. Okay. Then he going to say, well, I mean, we have chemistry. I said, what chemistry y'all had in one week? You kissed her. You, 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 you kissed her a couple of times just so you could say you had some shots of chocolate. You, you, you kissed her a few times. Y'all didn't go no further than that, okay? And let's be clear. I don't even want no kisses, no hugs. I don't even want to be touched up, felt up by nobody with that raggedy ass ponytail, okay? Looking like he got tape ends in. I don't even want that type of man. Dr. P is not buying not nothing that Orion is saying. She sees control. She called him out, okay? So, she called him out. She says, what does control look like for you, Orion? She said, because when you asked for a divorce, you had to know that was a form of control. He says, no, uh, yes. You wanted to have the upper hand. She ain't did nothing that bad to you. She has not done anything that bad or horrible to you. But Dr. Pia, if you know he on that bull, if you know he on some foolish shit, why did you keep trying to put them back together? Why do you keep trying to do that? Well, where's the forgiveness? Ain't no forgiveness. Ain't no grace. He's standing firm here and went to his mom and him in the tribe called Quest 
And he has said, what y'all think I should do? And they said, this what you going to do. And he said, already done. And then you're going to ask her, well, have you forgiven? What she got to forgive for? What he got to forgive for? She said what she said last week, which was, I've apologized. He is still stuck on these mistakes. He is still stuck on it. And he didn't give me the grace that I gave him. And I'm still giving him grace. She said, I didn't, I didn't turn my romantic feelings off for him like he did me instantly. He don't care nothing about her. Instantly, ain't no chemistry. Instantly. It's, nope, this is not going to work. Instantly. Hmm. Sounds to me like he never had any chemistry. Romantic feelings for her. Sounds to me like he was just trying to get him a little piece. So he could say he did that. He tried that. He conquered that. Pump. But this where this is where he pissed me completely off. He said, Well, really, my grounds for divorce is because it's her reaction. It's her reaction when things are rough and, 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 and hard. She just overreacts. Did this, did this, did this tape and wearing fool just caught, just try to, he, let me tell you, you tried the shit out of her in the angry black woman. I don't know. I'm the angry black woman. Try me. Try that shit on me. Did you just go for her as if her reactions made you turn away? When you were already turned away. And it wasn't because of her reactions. It's because you a damn liar. And you didn't want her from the start. But you gonna play the angry black card. Oh she. Her reaction. She was just so angry. And, and even when she apologized for her tone. And apologized. Because you didn't stand firm. Your scary ass. Your milky looking. You know what. I ain't got mad. Why does it always come to this? She the angry black female and I can't control her. My, no, no, you can't control my, look. No, you can't control my mouth. No, you can't. You can't even handle what the hell I, I want to say. But she didn't even say it. She didn't even say it. She was like, I said my reaction was wrong. It was off. It was off putting. I said that. But what you ain't going to do, what you ain't going to ever do. I wanted her to say what you... We can leave and divorce right now and I'm cool. But don't make me out to be the angry black woman because that's what she was trying to avoid. That's why every conversation she came with purposeful communication. She came strong, not loud, not aggressive, not none of that. And look where it got her. Look where it got sis. Look where it got her. I was like, Dr. Pia. You and Pastor Cal on that dumb shit, try, try, try hooking him up again now that you see what he on. I want you to try hooking him up again, all right, pissy Pia, because you pissed me off. You and Pastor Cal and y'all must get pissy at y'all. Oh, Lord, y'all. Y'all, I need a break. I need a damn break. I'm like this, Dr. Pia, we not spinning the block. Okay, we are not Nelly and Ashanti. Okay, get it? It's cuffing season. We get all that shit, but we're not spinning a block. Let this be a deuces. Let this be, this was a less a week worth of lessons learned. Okay, maybe possibly two weeks, depending on production and how this, and, and when the flights happen. Let this be a lesson learned. And then Dr. Peel says, well... So since you're adamant on divorce, um, Lauren, is there something you want to say? She's Lauren said, you know what? I'll be wasting my damn breath. And I said, you sure will. But here, here, here's the kicker. What I would say is this. You know what? I do got something to say. You, your mama, and your cousins too. All of y'all can kiss my black. But instead, we're going to keep it cute and say, 
deuces. All right, that was the end of the episode. I am your girl, Carla. Drop in those comment sections. Go hard. Let me know, what did you think about the divorce of Lauren and Onion? Okay, and the future Brennan and Emily. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. I enjoy all my new subscribers. Welcome to the Pretty Girl J channel. Yeah, y'all, yeah, they got me heated, but you know what? I'll see you guys next week for another episode review and recap. And until next week, all right, be good, be kind, be safe. And I love each and every last one of you. And don't forget to put your blessings below, okay? Big or small, okay? Doesn't matter. I want to celebrate you guys, all right? I love each and every last one of you for watching. And until next week, bye, guys. Hey.